All right, so on my home address I received two packages. This is the first package. And this is the second package. Two new POC radios from Hytera. These two devices are the latest Hytera POC devices to support business critical communications. Recently, Hytero sent me these two new radios for review. This is the PNC 380 and this is the PNC 550. Both devices are able to communicate over the 2G, 3G, 4G and wide area LAN networks and are marketed as professional push-to-talk over cellular radios. One looks like a regular PMR radio and the other one looks more like a sleeky smartphone. Nowadays, both POC radios and smartphones are frequently used for business critical communications. However, as POC radios have become extremely popular over the last year, I thought it would be a good idea to focus on the differences between using a smartphone or a POC device with a focus of the use of these devices for business critical communications. So what's your most favorable communication terminal? Is it a POC radio or is it a or is it a smartphone like this one over here? To help you answering this question, I first want to touch shortly on the development of POC radio. So POC communications first appeared on the market about a decade ago, following the release of the first set of specifications drawn up by the OMA, which is called the Open Mobile Alliance. That was June 2005. Shortly thereafter, POC technology had some take up in North America using 2G and later 3G services, but made a little headway in Europe actually. All that was changed over the last two to three years thanks to the rollout of commercial 4G LTE networks around the world. So, 4G delivers higher data speeds and low latency compared to traditional PMR systems. So, this is also why POC Communications is a seriously attractive proposition for many organizations, particularly those for whom communications are not necessarily, I would say, mission critical. In order to guide you into the right direction on what radio technology to choose, let's talk about the differences between POC and smartphone communications. One of the first eye-catching things is the robustness of the POC radio compared to the smartphone. As POC radios are often used in a business critical environment, they need to be rugged. This does mean that all of the elements in and on these devices need to be able to meet the highest standards for professional users. So, these two Hytera POC radios are meeting the so-called MIL 810G standard. This is a standard that addresses a broad range of environmental conditions, for example, including low pressure for altitude testing, exposure to high and low temperatures plus temperature shock, both tested in an operating situation and when the device is in storage, rain, including windblown and freezing rain testing, humidity, fungus, salt fog for rust testing, sand and dust exposure, and so on. In order to meet these standards, you probably understand that the devices need to be built using rugged, reliable, and durable components. For example, you can see here that the weather seal is fully built around the battery cover of the device. POC radios are equipped with a dedicated push-to-talk button on the side and a heavy-duty speaker that reduces audio distortion and background noise for use in noisy situations. 
For the PNC 380, this is located underneath and around the keyboard. And for the PNC 550, this is located here around the bottom of the device. This all is why POC radios are more reliable and durable than regular smartphones. Something that makes these POC radios so special is about that they can remotely be controlled by an administrator. For example, the administrator is able to remotely deprogram the radio or stun the radio completely. This means that POC is more convenient for unified management and this benefits for example field workers like people working in the utility sector, industry sector, railway, hospitality sector, oil and gas for example. Okay, so let's talk about a few other things. Um, there is something I really want to see, and that's the brightness of the screen. I know when I'm using my iPhone, um, the screen brightness is not really that good, um, especially when you're outside. And when you're an officer or a field worker in the outside, you really need to have a proper screen, even with the sunglasses on. So that's what I'm going to test right now. So that is a sound recorder and it probably records also the sound of that, that extremely busy road over here. Um, let me stop it right now and let me see how the screen looks like when I'm outside and with my sunglasses on because that is so important. Uh, an officer on duty when there's really lots of sunshine is probably wearing his sunglasses and the screen needs to be visible with and without the sunglasses. So yes, it's without the sunglasses, no problem. And with, no problem at all. It's definitely better than the glass of my smartphone. And that's an, uh, that's an iPhone. Easy fit. Another great benefit for POC compared to smartphone communications is that it provides fast PDT set of times that's also found when using traditional PMR systems. Unlike PMR, where channel capacity is finite, POC platforms allow any number of virtual channels and as many group calls as you want to be created, including the ability to create dynamic group calls. Dispatcher services can be enabled, including real-time GPS location, tracking and monitoring services, along with other PMR type services, such as late entry to group call and remote stun or kill devices. So, in addition with Hytera Hightalk MC, and MC stands for Mission Critical, the company offers instantaneously one-to-many and one-to-one -one MCPTT, MC data and MC video services of a public or private LTE networks based on the 3GPP release 14 specifications. All of this matches exactly the announcement of Viterra back in June 2020, stating that the company is now focused on the research and development of POC and that the company is committed to driving the industry towards improved technologies and higher quality products.